my name is AJ Pruitt and I'm the author of the Anathalian series and in this video I'm going to do a book review. Um, it is so important to do book reviews. If you read a book, please do review it. I'm getting behind on my book reviews and I really don't like it because I've been doing my formatting series which I'm really excited about. Subscribe to the channel if you like that. But this is the book review. Please review books if you read books. It's really important to authors. It helps authors in a way they can't help themselves. Um, <clears throat> today I'm going to review the Memory Thief by Lauren Manzi. I really don't know if this is a traditionally published or independently published book. I usually do independently published, but I don't know, and it doesn't matter. I'm going to review it regardless of that. So, The Memory Thief by Lauren Manzi is an epic fantasy book. It takes place in another world, um, and it's fantasy, and it is a YA book, a young adult book. Um, so my summary would be, Julietta lives in a world where memories can be stolen, twisted, and shared. When her mother's life is threatened, Julietta dares to return to her shadowed past for help and ends up discovering many memories that are the key to her past and future. The journey that begins as a far-fetched hope to save her mother leads into a maze of memories that could change her world. So that was that is what the book is about. This girl named Julietta and like everybody in the world, not everybody, um, some of the people in the world have this magic to do with memories. They can take memories, share memories. It's a neat magic system that I've never encountered before and I thought it was really cool. Um, and Julieta has that power to transfer memories and read people's memories, take them, give them to other people. It's neat. It's cool. Um, and so the positives of this book, the emotion felt realistic and appropriate and compelling. They were intense. The emotions were intense without ever feeling over dramatic. The character's emotions could be felt and kept me reading. Um, another positive is the characters were, were, were realistic and likable. They all had flaws, but they developed. Um, yeah, I liked I liked the characters and how the author wrote their emotions. They, like, the emotions were intense and you wanted to keep reading because you felt for these characters. You felt what they were feeling. I can't really say a lot about the plot besides what I said in my summary. Um... You know, it's like, I can't say much about the plot, but, um, Julietta, her power with these memories is key to the plot and like saving her mother and saving the world and all that stuff. Um, but the, the emotions keep you wanting to read as much as this exciting plot that is laid out in the book. So I'm not sure if my next thing is a positive or a negative. The memories play a vital role in this book. Much of the plot relies on stolen, forgotten, and critical memories. So the book often switches between present time in present tense and the past in past tense. And I didn't always like when the memories interrupted the present action. Um, they did ten tend to interrupt even though they were relevant eventually. They were important, the memories were important, and did build up what came later but I just wish they didn't make the present action seem disjointed. Um, like, like I said, it switches back and forth and it, it just like interrupts each other and you're like, wait, what's going on? And it's not like, it doesn't have like a header that says two years ago or whatever. Um, it just starts in a different place and you're like, wait, what's going on? And it feels wrong at first because you switch tense. Um, and it's like, wait, this isn't what this book was. And it feels a little weird. And it just like, kind of makes the book feel like stilted rather than smooth in its flow. Um, but it was kind of, kind of necessary to have the memories where they were. But I felt like maybe they could have been included a little bit later, more kind of together, more revealed, or maybe the characters could have like talked and revealed them. I don't know. So I don't know if that's a positive or a negative because I was kind of not sure how I felt about that aspect of the book. Um, another positive negative. The magic system and world was cool, but I wish the story had explained more. The Like I said, the magic system was cool, but I'm not 100% like clear about all the magic system. It didn't, this book is just a standalone book and it wasn't like fully explained. I didn't fully get it. As I went along, I found out more, but it's still like, you're still kind of trying to figure out what's going on. Um, another positive negative, this book did include plenty of twists and surprises, 
however they felt too convenient. Um, they did surprise me, but they also felt like easy fixes to problems or created situations to make problems. They felt written rather than real. I hope you know what I mean, written rather than real. Like, you feel like the author was like, oh, let's just throw in a problem to make the plot keep going. Or, oh, um, I don't know how to fix this. Let's just make this easy fix come around. Um, and that sounds really bad. <laughs> I really don't want to say that. But um, it did kind of feel like that. It felt like it just was put in there to further the plot or make the story go the direction the author wanted it to go rather than naturally occurring events in this world. Um, and, okay, so a ne I had one, fully surely this is a negative. Um, some problems were resolved way too easily. That kind of goes with the other one, but um, the problems instead of the twists and surprises. The problems were resolved too easily. Several times a problem had a huge buildup, but when the characters reached it, they didn't actually offer any, it didn't actually offer any problem. Um, no spoilers or examples, but you know, like, when you're reading along and you're like, oh, this is going to be big, this is going to be big. And then they got to the place or the event and you're like, oh, that was, that was really easily fixed. Um, okay, why did we have this huge build up to this thing that was so big and bad? And then it was just like, oh no, it's actually not a problem. It felt kind of disappointing. Like, it worked with the book how the author did it because like you're like well that makes sense but I feel really let down that you made me feel like this is going to be this big thing and dramatic and it's going to like maybe be a big battle and oh but then it's like oh no nothing really happens and it just kind of feels like a letdown and there were several things like that and so you just kind of felt let down that you wanted the book to be like more exciting but it wasn't and that was a negative for me um but overall I really I, overall, I never really got into the book. I enjoyed it when I did read it, but I didn't feel compelled to pick it up any time I had time. Like, the characters' emotions were what compelled me the most. The story didn't compel me the most, because, like I said, it was kind of a letdown sometimes. Um, it was a good book, but it just didn't click with me. And when a book doesn't just click with you and, like, resonate with you and the message isn't like, oh, yeah, it hits me right here, it's hard to, like, really love a book. Um, and that's what it was for me. I can see other people really clicking with this book. Um, there was like a mother-daughter relationship in there that was really significant and really special. And I just didn't click with that. Um, and so maybe if you have a special mother-daughter relationship, that'll, the book will click with you. Or if I, like, her mother is sick and she wants to save her. Maybe if you have something like a sick mother or a sick family member and you feel like you want to save them, you'll click with this book better. But I just don't have that in my life at this time. And so I just didn't feel that, like, connection with the book. And so I just didn't get into it. Um, so if, if you like fantasy with themes of family and memories, do try this book out. Like I said, it has potential to be, like, a book somebody really, really loves. It was recommended to me. Someone said, this book is so good. I love it so much. Um, but it's just, like, different books are for different people. So I think maybe you would really love this book. But I don't know. It wasn't for me. It wasn't my favorite book. I'm still going to rate it pretty high because, like, it was a pretty good book. Um, I did, I didn't, like, super get into it. But, like I said, I did enjoy it when I read it. Um, yeah, so that's my book review of The Memory Thief by Lauren Mancy. Um, and I forgot, it's been so long since I've done a book review, I forget my little things that I say. Um, I also review my books on Goodreads and Amazon, so you can read my review there if you want to. Please like this video, please subscribe to my channel, please, um, read books and review books, please do all the things you do with YouTube videos, share them around, subscribe. Um, and thank you for watching. Bye. If you want to know more about Anna Thalian or H.A. Pruitt, please follow me on Instagram at H.A. Pruitt. You can find me on Amazon as an Amazon author, H.A. Pruitt. Please watch my YouTube channel and all my cool videos on my channel, H.A. Pruitt Anna Thalian. You can find me on the Facebook page, H.A. Pruitt Anna Thalian. You can follow me on Goodreads by the name H.A. Pruitt and the book Anna Thalian. Or you can go to my website where so much cool stuff about Anna Thalian is. The website is hapruitt.com. Oh my. I can't see. Okay.
what am I doing? I don't, I don't remember how to do a book review. It's been so long. <sighs> okay. 